So welcome and thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Amy and I am excited to spend the next few minutes introducing you to how ScienceLogic's new AI ops platform removes the difficulty of managing complex distributed IT services so that you and your IT organization can get actionable insights into your operational data. All right, now have any of you ever experienced this? So much data, don't know what to do with it. Yeah, historically one of our primary objectives has been to gather as much data as possible so we can get better visibility and achieve performance improvements. Well, according to a recent survey conducted by Digital Enterprise Journal, 71% of IT performance data is not actionable and 82% of help desk tickets are not actionable. So having all this data doesn't necessarily translate into performance improvements unless it's delivered in a context that's actionable and relevant. So you might have seen our recent announcement about ScienceLogic SL1. What is SL1? SL1 is the industry's first context-infused automation engine for AI ops. SL1 lets you see, contextualize, and act upon your operational data. In today's landscape, that is becoming increasingly hard to do with containers, microservices, and multiple clouds, making traditional tools obsolete. Once you've collected the data, manual decision-making just won't keep up with the speed of change. You really do need automation to stay ahead. So with ScienceLogic SL1, you get a single solution that doesn't care what technology or vendor or cloud you're using, that gives full visibility and control over your entire environment, business services, apps, and infrastructure. A solution that allows you to integrate and pull data from a variety of tools and technologies, and provides real-time context to that data so you can understand how it all works together in real time and bring meaning to data by mapping relationships. And with this context, remove data silos by sharing the insights you need to take action and drive efficiencies. You can integrate with other Cisco management solutions to push, pull, or subscribe to very specific data feeds. And this lets you share between an established data lake and your IT ecosystem in real time so you truly have visibility of what's happening in your environment. All right, so this is what ScienceLogic does. Now let's go ahead and see where SL1 fits in the IT ecosystem. SL1 collects data like fault and performance metrics from the entire IT ecosystem, from applications, the data center, and networks, integrating all that data in context with other ecosystem platforms like ServiceNow, IBM Watson, and Splunk. We discover your data and place it in our data lake adding relationships and normalizing the data to create context, then taking actions like automated responses to problems. So now let's see where SL1 fits in the Cisco ecosystem. It does span the gamut. SL1 collects data from all kinds of Cisco systems, from applications and APM systems like AppDynamics, to data center systems like Cisco Hyperflex and UCS with Cisco ACI and Cloud Center, and extending to network technologies like Unified Communications and HCS. All right, so how do these insights apply in the real world to solve real business problems? First, just a quick show of hands, who's using AppDynamics for application performance? Anyone? Cisco UCS and ACI? Cisco Unified Communications or HCS, awesome. Thank you so much for that. Okay, so now this example is a Fortune 500 financial services company who suffers a lot of downtime with their mission critical applications. They actually experience over 100 outages annually, disrupting the flow of financial transactions, costing a fortune tens of millions of dollars. All right, so ScienceLogic SL1 is being used in conjunction with AppDynamics adding detailed infrastructure visibility right down to the network level to AppD's application performance data. That helps them pinpoint the cause of problems much faster, reducing downtime and saving millions of dollars, and giving the executives a high-level dashboard view of the health of critical business services. 
Finally, SL1 forwards incident information to ServiceNow and updates the CMDB. Okay, here's another example in the data center where ScienceLogic can enable business intelligence in IBM Watson to help identify anomalies quickly and automate decision making around capacity in the supply chain. SL1 collects operational data from Cisco and other components in the data center, including UCS, ACI, and Hyperflex, with network data from Viptela and Tetration, and uses that data in context to train the Watson machine learning engine and enable it to detect anomalies and quickly determine the business impact of infrastructure issues. Now that insight can then be used to drive automated changes through Cisco Cloud Center, and then, of course, SL1 updates the CMDB in ServiceNow so it stays up to date. Yes. So our last example is with HCS, Cisco's hosted unified communication service. Our telco customer used SL1 to collect and share infrastructure data in context with UC application visibility. In this case, about call quality, call volumes, and SLAs to improve customer satisfaction and operational efficiencies, to avoid SLA rebates, and prove their service quality was as good as they said it was. Happier customers, happier operations teams. All right, so a quick summary. ScienceLogic SL1 is the new automation engine for AI ops, enabling you to manage mission critical business services by collecting data from the entire Cisco IT ecosystem and adding the context you need so you can act upon what your data is telling you. And we showed you how SL1 adds value to App Dynamics, Cisco Data Center Systems, and Cisco UC HCS. All right, so if you have any questions at all, please talk to one of my team members in the booth. They can answer your questions, walk you through a demo in any of those categories I asked you about with the questions. They'd be happy to run you through the demos. Kristen is here to help out with t-shirt sizes if you need to swap something out or if you did not get one, come on up. We do have large and XL at this time. Thank you all so much. Have a great day. Thank you.